Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you five tips and tricks you should know for your new AirPods Pro. So let's dive in and discover. Now, the very first thing I wanna talk about is known as the ear fit test. So the first thing you wanna make sure is your AirPods Pro are connected to your iPhone. Once that is done, you wanna to go to the settings, all right? And then you wanna go into your Bluetooth menu. And as you can see, the AirPods Pro are in fact connected. And then you click on that I button, which is gonna bring up a menu that allows you to control functions on the AirPods Pro. So obviously before we actually start to listen to music, uh, we wanna make sure that we have a good fit into our ears. And here's a menu right here that says ear tip fit test. So basically when you buy the AirPods Pro, you get three different sizes of tips. You get small, medium, and large. Right now, as you can see, I have the small tips installed right onto the tip of the earbud. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna put this in my ear, and I'm gonna grab, grab this, I'm gonna put this in my right ear, and I am going to actually see if I do have a good fit in my ears so I get a perfect seal so as I listen to music, everything is high quality. And of course, the noise cancellation features work properly. So I'm going to click continue. Uh, that's the test of fit. So I'm going to click continue. I'm going to click play and let's see what happens. It's saying do not remove AirPods as I'm listening to the song that is playing inside. And right after it is done, it says I do have a good seal. So you want to make sure if you have purchased these new guys to run this test as a first step to make sure you're getting maximum benefits. All right, let's move on to the next tact. And of course, if you don't have a good seal after you run the test, you simply want to just change the seal as you can see in the video. So I grab the little one and put it right on top, fits right in place, and we are good to go. Now, one of the biggest features of the AirPods Pro actually is the active noise cancellation feature that the previous AirPods simply do not have. So when you put them in your ears and you listen to music and there's loud noises around you, you are gonna hear those and you're not gonna be immersed in your music, in your audiobooks or whatever podcast you're listening to. So with these guys, again, by going to Bluetooth and tapping on this button right here, the I button, you can actually enable the noise cancellation mode. Once you do that, all the noises on the outside environment are going to completely disappear and this option does work very well. Now I do want to let you know, if you want to quickly change the noise cancellation on and off, you can go here, you'll see your iPads over here at the volume knob, you press and hold and from here you can also activate, deactivate noise cancellation, which is great. That's the second way you can change the uh, turn on or off the noise cancellation feature that is new on these new AirPods Pro. And this brings me to the next tip. Now, if I go to the settings, all right, uh, again, as you can see, we have a noise cancellation mode, we have an off mode, and we have a transparency mode. Now, when you keep this on off, these AirPods Pro are going to behave exactly like the last generation AirPods, so there's not gonna be a big difference, but let's say you do have noise cancellation, and then your friend comes over and he starts talking to you, but you don't wanna pause your music, you wanna listen to your music and also hear what your buddy or whoever is talking to you has to say. All you do, is you go to transparency mode and that's gonna allow all the voice to travel through the AirPods into your ear from the outside world so you can be aware of your surroundings and listen to music at the same time. That's fantastic and I do like the name they, they picked up for that, that's a transparency mode. And again, you can go here into the control center, press and hold, boom, transparency mode can be enabled from here and disabled as well. All right, so the next thing has to do with your Siri being able to get you information for your AirPods. So I'm gonna grab the AirPod right now, I'm gonna put them in my ear. All right, let me just grab it and put it right here in the right ear. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually press and hold the button uh, just so your Siri doesn't get activated every time I say it. So let me press and hold and watch this. What's the current battery level on my AirPods? So as you can see, it tells you uh, how much battery you have on the AirPods Pro on the left and the right. They're both at 98% and I did hear them through my actual AirPods. Now the next thing you can do is pretty cool. Here's what I can do. Again, I can say the word to activate Siri, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to press and hold just to demonstrate. So press and hold. 
turn on the noise cancellation. So as you can see, I can turn on and off noise cancellation by asking Siri to do that directly, and I can actually use voice activation, all right? I'm just using the button here so it doesn't activate your Siri. So again, I can also do this. Press and hold, turn on the transparency mode. All right, so that turned on noise cancellation and it actually turned on the transparency mode, as you can see, and I can also turn them off. So you can control your AirPods Pro using Siri with voice commands. You don't have to go inside and press buttons if you don't want to. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video, guys. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, or any other tips to share with us, drop them down below and let me know. And for now, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.